we're headed to over 30 years in the past to visit some of the most amazing locations and recreate one of the greatest scenes in film history. So buckle up, hang on, as Beyond the Backlot goes back to the future. You know, when I think about the all-time greatest films, it is impossible not to put Back to the Future on that list. I mean, it is timeless in its storytelling, the characters are compelling, the music was chart-topping. Now this movie was filmed all over Southern California, literally in people's front yards and backyards. In fact, we're right here where Marty, as he jumps back to the past, discovers that his home development, Lion Estates, hasn't even been built yet. And he begins walking down this road and, and he's left wondering not just where he is, but when he is. And this is where and when our journey begins. This is the place where time travel became a reality, where Doc Falls hits his head and the flux capacitor begins its journey to get created. We know these homes as the Gamble Homes here in Pasadena, which serve both interior and exteriors for the Brown family home in all of the Back to the Future movies. So now, we're gonna head to the high school. The high school where Doc and Marty back in 1955 go together to try to right what is all wrong. Glamorous side of shoots. I think I can just clip this to my beard and cover it. So we just pulled up and parked here at Whittier High School, which is really Hill Valley High School. And right here to our left is the ramp where Marty gets thrown into the trunk of a Cadillac, meets the band, and ultimately goes through those doors and ends up on stage at the Enchantment Under the Sea dance. Within moments of pulling in here, we're right on top of some of these really famous scenes here at Whittier High School. So let's go inside and see if we can catch a few more. When you watch these films, you get this scope. And I mean, really, no, no sooner had we pulled in here, we got checked in with a great staff here at Whittier High School. It's a quick turn corner, turn corner, and all of a sudden, you see all of this stuff just right away. Like right here is Doc and Marty, you're kind of looking down the hallway, but just to a quick left turn, and we get this corner where the Enchantment of the Sea Dance poster is, and down that hall is where George McFly gets kicked and tripped. I mean, and there's some additional changes. You've got drop ceiling instead of the open ceiling and obviously new paint and stuff like that, but it's, it's all right here. You know, in some of our journey with these films, you find that usually the exterior doesn't necessarily mean the exterior shot matches up with the interior shots. But Whittier Union High School was both the exterior and interior shots. A little bit different places for the gymnasium, but when it came to the school itself, the hallways, all happened right here. So if you can imagine Whittier Union High School saying Hill Valley High School, it's right here. It looks brand new. Now remember, according to my theory, you interfered with your parents' first meeting. If they don't meet, they won't fall in love, they won't get married, and they won't have kids. Stuff changes, right? But the roundabout here is where Marty's driving Doc's car here, and it pulls around and parks in front of this tree, which is a little smaller, but this is, the, this is the spot where things start to get right, where, where George finally, finally grabs his fist and punches Biff, and he's able to take Lorraine by the hand, defending her honor, bringing him back into the enchantment under the sea dance. So obviously we got the high school right here, but what's really funny is you start to get a little bit more of the proximity, because if you just look over here to your left, you got the home of Principal Strickland. I mean, what, what principal lives two houses down from his school, right? Strickland, keep an eye on the slackers. Hey, Strickland! <laughs> I'm sure the people live there get the slackers! <laughs> hey, Strickland! Well, with a little more house hunting, we find ourselves here in Pasadena at the tree and the home where Marty rescues his dad from being hit by a car, but in effect, messes up the whole space-time continuum. In fact, he gets hit by a car he lands on the pavement, and when his head hits that pavement, there is that infamous, kind of gut-wrenching sound when Marty smacks his head against the pavement. Not once, but twice. Dad! <laughs> oh, 
I really don't want to hit my head. <laughs> oh, freaking! <laughs> Oh, oh crap, I totally hit a rock. <laughs> oh, I really don't know how he did this. Like, like there's no way to softly drop your head. Like, oh. And we've been on a great adventure so far and seeing some great spots. And hopefully tonight we're gonna get behind the wheel of a DeLorean. Uh, but right now we are headed to the Marty McFly home. Okay, so we're, we're it's at Arletta, California, right? Is this it? We're gonna head down this street here. Gonna, oh, yeah, well, the, yeah, so here's the street where you see a flying DeLorean. Uh, oh, I see it. That's gotta be right here. That's right here. There it is, right there on the left. <laughs> That's so great. <laughs> that is awesome. So the more and more places we get to visit and we, we find ourselves in these actual locations, you show up and things just start opening up. As we drive down the road, the canopy of the trees, even the way the sun is right now, you start to realize you are right here at the McFly Home and Neighborhood. So standing in the driveway of this home, right? You are reminded quickly of all the things that transpire here. I mean, not only do we get Marty walking in and the wrecker and the wrecked car walking through the doorway, but then later on he, he walks out and there's where the Toyota is at and then where the DeLorean whips in here for the first time. And I, I mean, these are all things that happen right here in this home. So we've seen some great locations so far, some, some really special places that make this movie come to life and really the, the magic starts to happen when... Oh, thanks daddy -o. The magic starts to happen when we see time travel happen. So I think it's time we head to Twin Pines Mall to see how we can all go back to the future. Oh, hey, thanks, perfect. <laughs> Crazy. Here it comes. Oh, yes. There it is. Come on, Puente Hills Mall, or as we've come to know it, Lone Pine Mall or Twin Pines Mall, this is the place where it all happened, where we got to see time travel for the very first time on the big screen through one of the most iconic vehicles of all films, the DeLorean, the time traveling machine itself. Now, if you had told my childhood self, you know, back when I was eight or nine years old, that I would be standing here today where all this happened, I'd literally have to go back to the future myself and tell myself. This actually is going to happen. Here we are, this is it. And our hope is to be able to create that time traveling scene where we get to see the car, we get to see Einstein, all of them go back to the future. <laughs> Did not change that much. I mean, it's been like 30 plus years. When you come over the, the crest of that hill and you see this parking lot and you see that car sitting there, Man, it takes you right back. In fact, you don't even need a time machine to go back to the future when you see stuff like this. It takes you right back, right back, time machine or not. You get to see these locations, it's right back. And I can tell you the amount of times I dreamed as a kid of being able to crest over that hill and see Doc Brown and Marty McFly standing there about to zap back into the past. Unreal. Sit down. Put your seatbelt on. That's it. Come on, Einstein. Let's go. Come on, hop in. Let's go. Come on, hop in. Come on. Come on. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> we got Einstein, we got the DeLorean, we got the mall. Let's do this!